Sherry Doherty. She is the Director of Development at the Sweet Dreams Project. Sherry, thank you for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So how are you? How's your team been? We're good. We've been, you know, on hiatus for a little bit, um, doing behind the scenes work. Um, so the goal of our foundation is that we go out into children's homes that are ill and we create dream bedrooms for them. Um, and obviously we have not been going out into the homes um, since this all started, but we are looking to get started up again. Um, so we're excited about that. So beyond, of course, the, the physically going to these locations and, and installing these new dream bedrooms for these chronically ill children, how has COVID-19 otherwise impacted the operations of the Sweet Dreams Project? Well, um, the fundraising obviously has been um, a big stall for us at the moment. Um, we have basically one major fundraiser a year. It's called our Hats Off Luncheon. It's held... Um, at the Townsend in Birmingham typically, um, and it's always in May. And we had to cancel that, that this year, obviously. Um, and we had pushed it back to an October date, which um, is going to get moved again. And so we're now looking to, we didn't really feel, um, there were so many charities out there that we felt were, um, even though we feel we're very uh, important to these families and these children, we didn't feel that we were as essential as some of the other charities out there that really needed people to donate to them. So we weren't out creating um, campaigns uh, in the last couple of months to try to get funding to make up for our fundraiser. We really felt that there was such a need for other charities that provide food and clothing and um, things that are so essential to families. Um, and we wanted to see people putting their money towards those. And the demand is still very high for what we do. Um, we work with area hospitals all throughout Michigan and they come to us with kids that and families that are in need. And we do make need a priority for what we do. So our list is growing and we do partner up with Make-A-Wish and Care House out of Pontiac. And in those situations, those organizations come to us if the child's can make a wish, if their dream is to have a bedroom, then they come to us. And we get in the space and we take care of the wish, but they provide a lot of the funding and they have um, Make-A-Wish volunteers that work with us on the program. And then Care House is based out of Pontiac um, and they, deal with um, emotionally, um, you know, children that go through a lot of neglect. Um, and we partnered with them last year for the first time and it's been a wonderful partnership. But in those cases, those organizations help us out with funding on these rooms. We try to split it, um, you know, half and half so that we get help so those are the organizations that we're continuing to work with currently because it's helping us out from a fund basis but we are looking to put together just in the next um week a gofundme fundraiser for all the people that couldn't attend our luncheon uh, because we're getting a lot of requests from those people and they want to still help and support us so we will be putting that out shortly so Sherry, uh, this is Ronnie. We should let people know as well that uh, Sweet Dreams Project is, uh, my twin sister is one of the co-founders. So I've known about Sweet Dreams for eons back yep. in, in the very beginning days when they were so desperate for volunteers, they would have me come paint. You oh. very desperate for volunteers at that point, just yep. so you know. But this is got to be so hard on the families, but also on your volunteers and the designers that this has become a part of their team building for their companies and to not have that outlet. But these bedrooms, they really do change the lives of these sick kids, but also their family members. So that emotional toll of talking with the families, how are you guys kind of dealing with that? So we're doing most, I mean, we're, we're really moving all that to virtual. virtual. 
Um, we always work with a, um, a social worker or somebody within the hospital system that is working with the family. That's how we typically get our kids. And so we get a lot of the initial information from those people. And then we can, I reach out to the family. And so we're trying to do Zoom calls and virtual calls or um, just FaceTiming them to see what the child's wishes are for their space. And then getting designers involved that are, we do do things all, rooms all over the state of Michigan. Um, so getting designers, and that's been a little bit tougher, um, getting designers that are comfortable, you know, going into the homes. But what we're trying to do at this point for our projects going forward, um, at least for, you know, until this hopefully passes, is we will not have contact with the family. So we will do, uh, we get measurements on the room, we get pictures of the room, we get what the child's wish would be for the room. And then the designer goes into the space, maybe needs like a half hour in the space where the family is not there and goes in and looks at what needs to be done. And then all of the groundwork is the next month or two of ordering and getting things um, taken care of for the room, furniture, floor covering, wall covering, draperies, getting all that ordered and in place. Um, and that's actually been a little bit of um, a sticking point for us right now because so many things are, the delivery times are so much longer on things. So we can't always give families a hard date on when we're gonna be back to install the room, but we're doing the best we can with that. And the families have been um, amazing. I mean, they understand what's going on. And so as soon as we get everything in, then we contact them and give them a couple of days that work for us. And then we coordinate with the family as to when they can be out of the home. Um, we either put them up in a hotel or they go stay with family for a night. And then we go in the space typically on one morning and the next evening we give the space back to the family. Now we have not had a reveal of a room since COVID started. So we will probably just ask the family to, you know, we love to see what the child and the family's reaction is to the space that we've done. Um, so we'll ask the family to video that for us. And so we will just take out that aspect of having physical contact with the family. Sherry Doherty with us. She's the Director of Development for the Sweet Dreams Project with us all throughout the Oakland County area on the Oakland County Megacast. So if people want to get involved, Sherry, how can they go about getting involved? What kind of, uh, in what capacity maybe can they get, invo get involved that's different from maybe other charities and how can they get involved in working on these projects with you? Well, we even ask, um, right now, obviously, to have volunteers in the space is tough. We can't really do that. Um, we usually get a design team that goes out into the space and they have their own team that they've been working with and um, you know they're testing their own teams and we're taking temperatures and testing too before people will go into, anybody that's gonna go into the space together. Um, but the best way right now would be we need donations um, because we did lose out on that biggest fundraiser that we had. We're even asking groups that if you get together with a few of your friends, maybe you just have a little um, where everybody donates to um, the charity to help us keep us afloat for this year. And hopefully next year is going to be our 20th year. Um, we were really hoping to have a really large gala type fundraiser for our 20th. But at this point, we're gonna be putting together this GoFundMe um, page, which will have a video of some of the befores and afters of the rooms that we've done. So when we get that out, which should be within the next few days, um, if people can share that with all of their friends, families, coworkers, um, it'll, it'll show a little bit of our story and what we do. And, um, you know, hopefully we can get back to helping these families because it is life changing. We have done total homes uh, for people also. Um, we sometimes we get into spaces and we just find the need is so great. 
and we just go out and we try to get area businesses involved around those people's homes. Um, in the last calendar year, we did two entire full homes. We finished one right before COVID um, where we did from top to bottom. We put it, ripped out flooring, kitchen, um, countertops, backsplash, and in three days we recreated their home. And our goal again in all of this is these families need they need a new beginning. They need a new start. They're they're so buried in the illness of their child and not being at home a lot because they they're at the hospital so much with the child that is sick. And then you have the other children that are at home and the spouse um, that has to care for the other children. It just becomes so overwhelming to these families because a lot of these illnesses aren't going away. They go on for years and years and years uh, for these children. And so we're trying to create new beginnings for these families that give them space to breathe, where they can come home and just, we organize, we get volunteers that organize their entire home. Um, so right now, I wish I could say that I could take volunteers, but they can always go to our website, um, www.sweetdreams.org, and sweet is S-U-I-T-E, like bedroom suite, or they can email me, Sherry, it's S-H-E-R-I, at sdreams, S-D-R-E-A-M-S dot org um, for future projects, if they would like to be involved in volunteering and helping. A lot of our volunteering is organizing, is taking everything out of these homes, cleaning, organizing, so that these people are coming home to environments that are pristine and new and hope, hopefully help them with a fresh start for their family. Sherry, anything else before we let you go? Uh, just spread the word about us. Uh, you know, Sweet Dreams has been a Michigan-only based charity. And again, next year will be our 20th year. So if people can just get on our website, there is a donate button on our website right now, but we will have that GoFundMe page up soon also. And we'll have a link to it on there. Well, thank you very much for being with us today, Sherry. Thanks for having me. Sherry Doherty, the Director of Development at the Sweet Dreams Project with us on the Oakland County Megacast.